Oh my goodness. Chicago, on behalf of Barack and Michelle Obama and the entire Obama Foundation, welcome to our second annual summit. If last year, if last year was about listening and learning, this year, there are 650 change makers in this room. Dig in, learn from each other, and let me just begin with a little story. O meu pai é Antônio. A minha mãe é Adiolinda. Eu sou filho de imigrante. My father is Antonio Simas. My mother is Diolinda Simas. They immigrated from Portugal. The first memory I had as a child, I was three, and my father came to the babysitter's house. And he said to me that my mother had been involved in an, in an accident at work. My father said to me was that someone had cut a corner on maintenance in the factory where she was making forks and spoons and knives. And within a blink of an eye, this young, vibrant, immigrant young woman had lost fingers on her hand. The courage of an immigrant to leave language and family and culture and food and friendships and memory because of a belief that you're going to build something better for children, in my case, they didn't even have. In what I saw as a young boy of three and four and five has brought me to this moment. In that moment where my mother and father needed assistance, the church, the neighbors, the co-workers, everyone in the community lifted up Antonio and Yulinda in this moment. And so fast forward 30 years, their son, Udavid, walks through the gates at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue every single day to work for Barack Obama. On the way in the door in the morning and on the way out at night, I said the same thing to myself like a mantra. Remember who you are and what you represent. I wasn't there because of any transcendent brilliance or because I worked harder than anybody else or because God knows I wasn't more connected than others. I was there because at a moment when my parents fell and frankly, when I fell repeatedly, a community lifted me up. That's my story. And so when I have listened to each one of you around our theme of common hopes and uncommon stories, the thing that binds you, the 650 people in these inaugural programs that will build into the largest network of global change makers on the planet, is that each one of you deeply believe in the power of community to transform people's lives and make them better. That's who you are and what you represent. And as I think now about what's common among us, the thing that is different in the uncommon stories, and we have seen it on the stage today, but think about this. There are 300 of you from Chicago and Phoenix and Columbia who look different, who have different backgrounds, who have different experiences, who tell your stories in a way that allows you to see what is possible. Think about the 20 Obama fellows out of an application class of 21,000 who are at the cusp of going from amazing to transformative but understand that not only do they give but they receive as part of a community. Think about the Obama scholars at the University of Chicago and Columbia University who are taking a year off to dig down deeper into what they want to do to give back. We have people here who are part of our African Leaders Program, 
who gathered with the president in Johannesburg in July of this year for the 100th anniversary celebration of Nelson Mandela, each one of them wearing a T-shirt that said, we are the ones we have been waiting for. The My Brother's Keeper Alliance and Jose and Quincy, powerful as part of a network of people dedicated to that idea that there is systemic injustice in the world and we have a responsibility to lift it up. The Global Girls Alliance stood up by Michelle Obama who said that women and girls throughout the planet in order to be fully integrated into a community need to receive the same education and opportunities that boys and men receive. The young men and women who are part of the Obama Youth Job Corps in high school, who are now freshmen in college, in partnership with a group called Urban Alliance, who are seeing what's possible and enriched us as part of the process. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the beginning And in one short year, all of these uncommon stories come together in a way that I just could not be more proud of. And this session in tomorrow is about learning from you, connecting you to one another, engaging in a way that is consistent with the ideals of Barack and Michelle Obama, and we will be listening very closely because we need to continue to learn. And for those of you from Chicago and those of you who are coming back, here's one way we're learning. We are building the Obama Presidential Center and Museum on the south side of Chicago. It is a place dedicated to the story and to the legacy of two ordinary people who did extraordinary things, Barack and Michelle Obama. It is based in their community, the South Side, because they both say that their lives are only possible because of the community that lifted them up. And so when we tell the story of those two individuals, it is impossible to tell the story without focusing on the community that also lifted them up. No one does anything alone. And when the young boys and girls go through the Obama Presidential Museum in the center, when each of you go through, success for us is not just the wonderful stories of what they did and what we all did. Success is when that young boy and girl sees those stories and sees themselves in those stories. That's what I'm talking about.